time to take a peek at a new sleeping bag. Now the last uh, sleeping bag I did actually was not a sleeping bag, but a sleeping quilt. This time I actually have something I actually got received last fall as well that I've kind of used off and on. Uh, this is the Big Agnes. This is the Hitchens bag. It's actually a 20 degree bag. Uh, it doesn't say on the bottom, though, does it? Ah, it says on the stuff sack here, here we go, or the storage sack. The Hitchens UL, their ultralight series bag. Um, one pound, 11 ounces, I believe, is actually what the weight of it is. Um, it is a very nice ultralight bag. It does have um, what I call a three-quarter or a half zip side bag, so you can't zip it all the way down to the foot box. Um, the reason for that, obviously weight. You're going to save a lot of weight by doing it this way. You're also not going to get any drafts down by where your feet are, so if you definitely have a potential for cold feet, having a half zip or um, a two-thirds or three-quarter zip or whatever you get, uh, so the zipper doesn't go all the way down definitely keeps your foot box a lot warmer however um, one thing that I did notice um, that I didn't like as much was the fact that the zipper when you actually zip it all the way down does come undone um, so that you can't zip it back up right away uh, there's uh, definitely a reason for that um, I guess but they it's more for tie-offs for climbing but that's kind of annoying because uh, sometimes you, you get up, you unzip it, and you stand up, and it zips down to that point, undoes itself. That's something that definitely uh, irked me more than it probably should have. However, same token goes, uh, I did notice that this specific zipper, uh, how they actually have these liner pieces laid out, I never really had the zipper catch the bag itself while zipping up, which is a common occurrence with ultralight fabrics. They just, they're so light, they like to get into the zipper and just get stuck. I never really had that issue with this bag, so Big Agnes did a really good job on that specific item. Um, Comfort-wise, uh, well, I can throw my shoes off real quick. Let me get in there real quick. How about that? So this is kind of what I'm saying. I'm getting in right now, and I already dislodged itself, and so now I have to take the time to do this. Like I said, it does have this do-away zip, so you can have an opening. Uh, definitely nice if you need to Whatever, let more heat out down there, but you want to keep your upper se section uh, closed. But this is definitely for climbers, so you can actually tie off to whatever you're going to tie off to. And uh, that's what that's kind of designed for. Uh, I wish they would just keep it so, keep these two zippers, just have it so it doesn't actually undo itself as easy. That's the one thing I, I definitely didn't like. Really. But for what it is, um, comfort more than anything else when you're in these bags is is there something that's going to be hitting my face? Is there something that's just not going to be enjoyable? I mean, that's always something to actually keep in mind. And in this case, I never really had that problem. Um, how it... Sorry, I'm trying to do this review and also use it at the same time. Um, I didn't find anything that, I, that stood out that I didn't like. Now, I had a Marmot Helium bag that I used for years. And this one definitely, and that was over two pounds, but this one definitely just kept reminding me of my helium with a few extra features. And the zipper, um, while my helium never dislodged, the zipper on my helium always got stuck on the fabric and I'd be sitting there unpeeling it, uh, you know, and it irks you more than anything else, that specific item. Uh, but in this case, I never really had that. So that's always kind of kept it going for me. And on a 60 some degree day, this 20 degree bag is extremely warm, especially in the sun. So something else to point out, um, inside here, sometimes you'll find a small pocket or something to stick a cell phone in. And that's one thing that's definitely missing out of this bag. Not saying that it needs it because it is an ultralight bag, uh, but that is one thing that I have had on other bags that, that this does not. But this one definitely is lighter than those other bags. Um, one thing I really like is something that you'll actually not use, well, you'll probably use in the backcountry if you're going for longer stints, 
Um, and that is, on the foot box here, these specific hangers here to hang the sleeping bag up so that you can actually allow it to dry out. Um, it's great to do even if you're not in rain specifically, just in humidity or just from the humidity of your own body. It's always great to let the down completely dry out. Even this with the, the uh, down tech, the, the water resistant or waterproof down that they have in this bag. Um, the shell lining itself is also water resistant. So this is designed, even if it gets a little damp or whatever outside, you're not gonna really reduce the capability of this down bag. This has 850 down insulation in it, so it's really nice and fluffy, really nice and warm, and very ultra light. Um, but I think Big Agnes did a great job. They have a whole lineup of these bags um, based on basically the, oh, a few different objects. I kept the actual thing in here where they actually have the nice little guy here. This is the Hitchin GUL. The warmer bag, the Flume, which is the 30 degree bag, uh, regular size, one pound six ounces. Like I said, this one, one pound 11 ounces. The Orono, which is their zero degree bag, uh, two pound seven ounces. And then they have the Crusho, which is their negative 20 degree bag. And that's three pounds even for the regular sizes. So uh, this whole lineup is, I think, one of those to keep, to look at. Uh, the actual stuff sack, which it does come with down in here. Um, you know, you actually get to a decent sized bag. Um, it's not going to be as small as maybe some of my other really ultra light bags that I've had in the past, but very similar to my uh, Marmot um, Helium, if you've ever seen that bag go. That bag has been out for quite a while. So, uh, but definitely check them out. I'll put links at the top of the description. If you have any questions or comments, let me know. Post those below. Subscribe to the channel if you can. Share the video if you can, if you have time. I uh, appreciate it. Appreciate all the supporters out there. Um, take a peek at, uh, uh, at Bug Agnes's other products. I'll put a link right to their website. Uh, as you can see, I actually, this is a product I did review of recently, as did the tent, which, to be honest, these three have kind of been hand in hand while I was reviewing them, actually testing them. This is what I've been kind of doing for a setup in addition to my backpack and all the other stuff. So, uh, but definitely check out Big Agnes's products. They have some awesome stuff. They really, really do. Hoping to get some more uh, here in the near future. So shout out to Big Agnes. You guys make some awesome stuff. That's it guys. We'll catch you here on another video. We'll see you real soon.